What's up guys? Thanks for tuning into this bass boat restoration project. We're going to be jumping around a little bit just because some things are getting halfway done. We come and finish it later and I want you guys to be able to follow along through the whole thing. On this episode, we are going to be mounting the Bass Boat Technologies helm mount for my electronics on the back. I got a hold of Van at Bass Boat Technologies, told them what we're working with here. This is a 2001 Triton TR-186. It's old, man. These things are not built for today's electronics. They don't have anywhere to mount them. There's really weird spots where, like, you could put one here, um, like on, like, a ram mount or something if you want to. I don't like those type of mounts. I want something that's going to be rock solid. I want these things not moving. I want them where I want them, and I want to be able to utilize my electronics the best that I can. So I shot Van over some pictures of exactly what I was working with because some of the dashboards change from like 01, 2000, 01, 02, or 03, or 04, or 05, and they were all a little bit different. And he said, yep, I can definitely hook you up. So I was able to get the exact one that just kind of, it's like a plug and play at this point where you just fit it in, put the screws, the bolts, and then you're able to mount your units. Right now I got a 1022 over here. I got a 93 SV here. And I'm actually thinking about changing this 1022 because it's a GPS map out to an eco map. Uh, I think I'm going to put a 12 here. So this will probably be a 12. The 10 will come off, get ready for ice fishing season or something. And then the 9 will probably get changed out as well. But you good with it for now? Yeah. Yeah. need the directions or? No, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Like. Yeah, it looks good. They're long enough. Yeah, I like the detail of these things. Yeah. Thank you. 
Yeah. Looks awesome. Pretty sweet. We can cut. If we had to cut these screws off, we could, but I don't, yeah. if they're not in the way or anything, we should just leave them right. Yeah, I don't know if we have to cut them or not. This is where we're sending our wires mm -hmm. through. I don't think we have to cut them for anything. Yeah. We'll leave them. We'll see. Yeah. This stuff after you do the gauges. After we do the gauges. <coughs> Pretty simple. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna clean up uh, the boat. Yeah, just looking, that looks pretty sweet. That's gonna be awesome when it's done. So at this stage, I've actually had the boat out on the water a little bit. I'm skipping ahead here. I'm still in the editing stage, so I'm getting stuff out a little bit late for you. But I've been able to run this now for a couple weeks and really, really happy with the setup. It's super rugged and it fits perfectly. And my fingers are right there to push the buttons as I am on the water and fishing. So super happy with it right now. If you guys are in the market to mount your new electronics on your older boat or even on a new boat now, um, definitely check out Bass Boat Technologies. It worked for us. It's a perfect fit, and we haven't had any problems with it yet. There's a lot of these on the market, and I'm sure they're all awesome, the mounts for electronics now on your older bass boats. I just went with these guys because my buddy JT's always been running them, and they work well for him. He can That guy can break a rock. So if JT recommends them, they're good by me, and, uh, and they have been good so far.